Don't get me wrong, I'm not rich yet, but I'm on my way there. And what's sad is that there are so many people thinking they're getting wealthy, but they're being naive because they're not doing these three things. Now, these tips are from the most successful and wealthy people ever, so don't think that I'm just sharing them like, oh, this not yet rich dude is sharing how to get rich. No, this is from my mentors. At the end of this video, you'll also get number four, which is mine, and it's the thing I struggle with the most, and I hope you don't as well. What's up, guys? Welcome to the Millennial's Guide to Money, where we teach you how to dominate your finances so you can own your life. Let's dive in with number one. Number one is you lack vision and purpose. Without vision and purpose, you're not willing to sacrifice. You're not gonna sacrifice your time and work harder. You're not gonna sacrifice uh, short-term pleasures and see uh, far out and think, what should I be doing down the road? You're not gonna do what it takes to get there because you don't care that much. Without vision and purpose, you're pretty much just gonna meander through life day by day. Something looks good, okay, I'll buy this. Okay, I'll do this. But you won't be able to get through those tough situations and make it out on the other side because you won't have a reason to. You gotta have a reason to do anything, especially something big. Number two is you use your ego the wrong way. So your ego, we all have egos. Some people that are really spiritual have far less egos or, or, or let the ego not dictate their life nearly as much. And it takes a lot of practice and a lot of intention to utilize your ego in the right way. Because for example, your ego says, I'm insecure, I wanna buy this nice watch so other people like me. You might not admit it, but that's deep down the truth. I want approval here. It's really your ego wants approval. But your ego can also say, this person insulted me, this person offended me, I'm gonna work my butt off to get this job done. So you can use your ego as fuel. You could use insults, you could use chips on your shoulder as fuel to work harder, and that's utilizing your ego in a good way. Or you could use your ego to say, I just don't feel good about myself because this person doesn't approve, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna buy this, or I'm not gonna do, uh, go after the goal or the dream that I feel called to do because my mom doesn't approve. She's hurting my ego, and that's where it can be very dangerous. You gotta make sure that you are aware of your ego and utilize it to only propel yourself forward, not to hold yourself back. Number three, impatience. Goes along with the others. If you know, look, we live in a world where I can go on this computer that fits in my palm, order a coffee from Starbucks and pick it up and it's ready. I can call, I can do things while I'm driving. I can send emails while I'm driving. I can make appointments. I can do so many things that patience is like the rarest thing now because the world moves so freaking fast. But if you wanna build anything, if you wanna achieve anything, patience, is required. Of course you have to have hard work, but when you have the vision, when you have uh, your ego working for you, then the patience can be there. If not, you're just gonna bounce around from thing to thing to thing to thing, just like I've done in the past, and it does not work out. You wanna achieve anything great, you gotta have patience. Number four is my bonus, and it has been the biggest game changer for me. It continues to be, and I wish I had this sooner, which is, you're not around wealthy or successful minded people enough. We are the average of the five people we spend the most time around. That's just the truth. Think of the five people, we are the average of their health, their wealth, their mentality, their uh, philosophies, everything like that. And if you wanna be successful and wealthy, you gotta make sure wealthier people are in your circle. You'll see that their conversations change. You'll see it's more about opportunity and return on investment and impact and big things and less on Kardashians and just other petty crap and gossiping and stupid things like that. Podcasts are my biggest thing. I love podcasts because I don't have that many successful people in my circle just yet. I'm trying to upgrade it. Always look to upgrade it. But if you look around you and you're the most successful person, 
then you're not gonna get much more successful. You've already maxed out. Everyone else might get a bit more successful because of you, but you better get in some other circles where you can help those people and they can help inspire you to reach your next level. Those are the four tips, four secrets of why you'll never be successful. I hope you turn that around and become successful utilizing the opposite. And uh, stay tuned, let me know what you think and see you next time.